Hello friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the Audiophiliac. Today I want to talk about the Music Hall MMF 1.5 turntable. It's, it's a honey. I really enjoyed listening to this turntable, writing about this turntable. It was, it was engaging. That's the thing. I kept wanting to play one record after another. And that's what this is really all about. That's what being an audiophile at its best does. It, the, this, whatever the gear is, that's not, that's not really the thing. If whatever gear you have, whatever your system is, and you want to keep listening to it, that's good. So with this turntable, I kept listening. And it was funny, at one point I played Ike Quebec, uh, a saxophone player, and I played this record of his called Soul Samba, which was recorded, I think, in 1962. And the, the analogness of the recording was really coming out. It was just so round and juicy and warm, and the sax was really amazing. It was really, really good. So I played that record, and then the, the record that followed that record was Cadona 3 with um, Colin Walcott and Don Cherry. And that's a digital recording on ECM from, the, from 82. And I really liked that record. It was, it was, uh, it's a really good recording, but it was a very digital sounding recording. The contrast between the analogness of the I Quebec record and the digitalness uh, of the Don Cherry record was, was, was kind of startling. But that's not to say that I didn't think the, the Don Cherry record sounded, it didn't sound bad. It just sounded unanalog like. So it wasn't, the point here, it wasn't that the turntable was making the iQuebec record sound analog and juicy. It was just, the turntable was being a faithful messenger for the music. It gave me the analogness on an analog LP and it let me hear the digital quality of the Don Cherry record. So, and again, I'm stressing not in a bad way. I didn't, it's not that I was cringing or anything or unhappy when I was listening to Don Cherry. I loved that record and I loved it a lot on this turntable. So, but the turntable uh, made those differences clear. So the turntable ha comes with a cartridge, a, a musical melody cartridge, which I think is some kind of variation on an Audio Technica, I think. Um, it has a cast aluminum platter, a real uh, cherry bait, cherry veneered base, uh, an S shaped aluminum tone arm. It has a built in phono preamp, so if you don't um, have a, a receiver or preamp with a, a phono input, this, this one will get, keep you going. Uh, I, I listened to it, I liked it with the built in phono preamp. I liked it more with a, a Shit Manny uh, external phono preamp, which is 129 bucks. Um, but anyway, I've got nothing but nice feelings and nothing, all good. It's all good. The musical MMF 1.5 is a winner for me, $399, and I will link to my review on my Audiophiliac CNET blog. So thanks for watching. Please come back often. This, there's a new video every day on my YouTube channel. If you like these videos, please share them, please like them, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.